If you've ever watched Nine Stream Live, you are well and truly aware of my love of Doctor Who. So you can imagine how excited I was when I heard a Doctor Who pop-up shop has opened in Newtown. So what's it all about? Who better to find out from than the biggest Doctor Who fan I know? Me. Yes, I'm crossing to my very own time stream to find out what it's all about. Hello, Rob McKnight. Hi, Rob. Hi, guys. What exactly is a Doctor Who pop-up shop? Well, this is a Doctor Who pop-up shop. Uh, basically, this doesn't usually exist here in Newtown, but it has materialised, just like the TARDIS would, and it's uh, here with a whole range of merchandise that you usually wouldn't be able to get uh, in Australia. You can order online pretty much anything, of course, these days, but here you can touch and feel it. You can buy the shirt, even, and uh, really be part of the Doctor Who experience. And it's like a mecca. And the thing is that... It's uh, just fantastic. Sorry, Rob, go on. Uh, no, that's OK. Uh, there's going to be some delays when we're doing timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly stuff, uh, <laughs> but uh, that's OK. I was just going to say, uh, this thing is huge, right? Yeah, it is huge. Um, uh, it, it, it's funny, the other day, a couple of weeks ago, I was, uh, thought I'd pop into the store and uh, lined up outside and uh, waited half an hour and couldn't get in the, and people were still coming and basically had to call it quits because I had somewhere else to be and I didn't get my opportunity to come in and uh, so it, it has really taken off. It's been quite incredible how Sydney has embraced this Doctor Who pop-up store. This is meant to fool me, is it? This is pre-recorded. This is meant to fool us. No, 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 no. You've been too cynical. Sometimes you just have to trust that the impossible can happen. And this is it. And uh, as I said before, timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly, and uh, that's how we're able to do this, crossing our own time streams. All right, so who's your favourite Doctor then? Well, that's a very simple question. Uh, in the old series, in the classic series, it's definitely Peter Davison because uh, he was the Doctor I started watching. When I started watching Doctor Who, he was the Doctor at the time and uh, I, I loved him. Uh, but realistically, David Tennant has simply owned the role and uh, I think he, he embraced and encapsulated Doctor Who like no one who before him or since. And he really, really is the man, to me, is what the Doctor is. But they've all been fantastic, of course. As we would say, splendid chaps, all of them. And, um, and why have the BBC chosen Sydney for this, Rob? Well, a uh, simple question, a uh, very good question, but let's ask uh, Rachel, who works for the BBC. Rachel, why Sydney? Um, well, we chose Sydney uh, as the launch of some of our activities for the 50th anniversary. Uh, we know there's a lot of really passionate Doctor Who fans out there and they've certainly converged on Sydney at this space in Newtown to come and experience the Doctor Who pop-up shop. Um, they're a very, very dedicated bunch and we've seen that from the popularity of the shop and the lines that we've had out the front of the shop. Are you surprised by the reaction? Look, we knew that they were very um, a dedicated bunch, but they've been, you know, if, after the first day we had loads of people dressed up in costume, but if day after day people come wearing their bow ties and their coats and their fezzes and their, you know, each one's dressed up like their favourite doctor or their favourite monster or their favourite companion, they're definitely a very um, involved bunch of people. So we've been really happy with their response. And how long, uh, how long will the store stay open until? Uh, we were hoping to open for about six weeks, but given the rate that we're going through the stock, it might be a little bit shorter than that. So people better get down sooner rather than later because we may dematerialise at any moment. Hey, hey, nicely done. Nice sales pitch too. Um, but if, if that does happen, uh, will you consider pop-up stores in other parts of the country? Um, given the reaction that we've had and the reaction on Twitter and everybody around the world actually saying when can we get our next one, we're definitely considering doing it elsewhere. Um, in the meantime, we're launching an e-commerce site so people can buy some of these things online in the next couple of weeks uh, and if they miss out here right now we've got a big event happening down at the Vivid Festival in um, June on the 1st of June Customs House will be taken over by Doctor Who in a partnership that we're undertaking with Destinations New South Wales so we're really really excited about it I've seen some of the animations that they pulled together to project onto Customs House and it looks amazing really really amazing Rachel thank you very much for that. thank you for coming down Pleasure. Um, it really is an exciting event and it's great how Sydney is embracing the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who. And Rob, finally, are you looking forward to this weekend's big season <laughs> finale? Yeah, well, uh, all I can say, Rob, is uh, we never said this was your past, this is your future. And I've seen the finale and it is fantastic. And I will just tease you with this, you learn a lot a lot about Clara in the first five minutes, I promise you that. No way, I just cannot wait. It's good, it's good. Okay, thanks Rob. It's a pleasure. See you in the future. <laughs> Very handsome man. <laughs>